It's been mixed reaction to plans by a group of Harvey Bay locals to stage an anti-Muslim rally next month. The organiser says Muslims are taking over Australia by pushing for Sharia law and halal food certification, but denies she's a racist. Amanda Chapman knows it's risky fronting such a divisive rally, but she's standing firm on her beliefs. You need to go back to the country where you're bringing your own beliefs from because we don't accept it. Ms Chapman feels she's been silenced for long enough and is speaking out. She says Australian food companies shouldn't have to seek halal certification for Muslims. What about our choices? We have a choice on whether we don't pay, if we don't pay for it, we don't want halal certified food. She's also angered by the push for Sharia law in Australia, which is especially strict against women. Under the law, many sins are punishable by sin or amputation, and women can be beaten for not obeying their husband. Intolerable. It's not acceptable. This is not the way we do things. And if you don't like the way we do things and our laws... The local Reclaim Australia rally has more than 1,000 supporters on Facebook. The Australia-wide event next month will aim to get a message to government. Coming in from these areas just starting to filter in the last two years. If they've got young girls, keep them close and try and get out of this, this town. Right, right. So as we see, the, the mob is starting to collect around us and I, I fear more than myself because I'll fight, but <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to see her get hurt. So we're going to go ahead and cut this interview short because it's starting to get a little bit hostile on the outer region um, and there's I more... Yeah. Can you see what I mean? Oh, I, I can feel it. I can feel it near. There's a gathering out on the outside, and uh, it's, it's getting kind of extreme. So we're going to cut this interview short, and we're going to take off out of here and go somewhere uh, a little. G'day, patriots all across Australia. If you are sick of the Islamic ideology, the lunacy of the left wing, and our corrupt politicians, then come Saturday, April the 4th, there are rallies all across the nation. That's right, all on the same day, Saturday, April the 4th. The rallies will be at the following times and locations in cities and towns near you. Here's the list. Newcastle, 10.30 a.m., Pacific Park, Pacific Street. Brisbane, 11 a.m., King George Square. Perth, 11.30 a.m., State Parliament House, Solidarity Park, Harvest Terrace, West Perth. Sydney, 10.30 a.m. Between Castlereagh and Pitt Street, Martin Place. Gold Coast, 10.30 a.m. Evandale Park in Bundol. Adelaide, 11 a.m. Elder Park. Hobart, 12 p.m. Parliament House Lawns. Mackay, 12.30 p.m. Corner of River and Sydney Street. Esperance, 10 a.m. Old Tanker Jetty at Midtown. Melbourne, 1 p.m. Federation Square. Cairns, 10 a.m. Fogarty Park Sound Shell. Toowoomba, 10 a.m. at Laurel Bank Park. Harvey Bay, 10.30 a.m. Turkey Foreshore. See you all there. Saturday, April the 4th. See ya, Patriots. Well, there you go. There's a prime example of what I was just talking about. And it's something the mainstream media will never, ever discuss. And look how quickly it happened to us. A flyish mob gathered within five minutes and what happened? Well, as you see, uh, what you didn't see was glass bombs coming down off the top floor as people were yelling and throwing them at them. The camera person was harassed. Uh, there was starting to block us in to where we couldn't leave. There were people behind uh, the, the little alleyway getting ready with some sticks to come in and club me. So there was going to be a horde of 50 people descend upon me and the camera person and basically beat us to a bloody pulp. Now, this is something, like I said, the mainstream media will never cover. We had one fellow there trying to talk decently and 20 or 30 that was starting to get riled up just because we were there.
What does this tell you? This tells you that this can never, ever work. Why? Because just as that lady that I was interviewing on the street, she has to hide at night. I cannot imagine the fear and trauma that has been placed upon her. She was scared to death. And I see why, because they will kill her. They kill, they rape, why? To me, to her, or to anybody that looks like me or believes in a Christian way or another way. Of so there you go, there was a prime example of what the mainstream media will never show you. They get footage of it. They get footage all the time, but they will never show it to you. I was at a, um, a protest um, the other day and mainstream media showed up, BBC, Sky News. There was a kid there holding the communist flag. It was the sickle and the star, the red communist flag. And what they were doing was protesting um, a store that was selling hala meat. And so basically you cannot get ham in a hala meat store because it's illegal through Sharia law. And this, this store, it was a subway shop, and they were selling ham sandwiches. But it's not ham, it's turkey that tastes like ham. So um, it's illegal to do that in England because it's false advertising, but they were doing it. And um, really no one, was, no, no one was coming down onto them. So a, a political party decided to protest. But on the other side of the street, there was this fellow holding a communist flag. And he was talking about the people on the other side being fascist. But I, you know, I really wanted to ask him, uh, I didn't get the chance to, but I really wanted to ask him, do you understand what that flag stands for? How many people were murdered under that flag? You talk about fascism, communism's way stepped up from, fasc from, from, uh, from fascism. And now you're dealing with what we just witnessed down there. No one, no mainstream media will ever cover the bullying that just tried to ensue. It's a little tough to bully me, but that lady was scared to death. The camera person scared to death, ran to the car, locked the car doors, and a glass bottle come flying down right beside as they were getting into the car. From three stories, who knows what would have happened, but would the police done anything about it? No. Why? Because they don't want to cover it. They don't want to cover the truth. The truth is, mostly, white people are bullied. They're bullied by that right there when you go into that neighborhood. They keep escaping to these gated communities, but at a certain point, you're not going to be able to escape anymore because you've already run just about as far as you can run. Children, uh, I was talking to a, a youth down beside the canal when we were doing a little interview. He told me that you cannot leave school by yourself here. And this is in Burnley, England, okay? Uh, heartland, uh, industrial, used to be a lot of working people here in the mills and all that. You cannot leave school if you're white by yourself. Why? Because they throw you into the canal. They steal your phone. You heard the lady say they steal your phone, they steal your computer, they steal whatever, and the cops do absolutely nothing about it. Um, geez, that makes me wonder why. Why does the cops do nothing about it? After the riots here in 2001, uh, they had massive riots, like you've seen down there, they went through and started burning and destroying. What, what did the city do? Well, uh, it's kind of like you got a troublemaker. So what do you do? It used to be you would reprimand the troublemaker. You'd get them in trouble, but no. The Bitty, uh, Burnley City Council, what they did was gave the, the, the Muslims a massive college, a college that used to teach uh, trade skills, skills in uh, carpentry, electrical, plumbing, engineering, things that are very valuable to a community. They take this school and they give them this. Well, it was 1.8 million, but the, you'll see a clip of the school in a minute worth way more than 1.8 million that wouldn't even be, begin to build one wing of it so as these i call them bolshevik communists uh, that run these city councils um, they want the destruction of western world they want people to be scared they want that white lady down there to be scared they want her to fear for her life and she does i can see it in her eyes and that's why both of them split one of them got a phone call that there was a flash mob happening that's why she split and they knew that there was trouble to ensue why because you're just standing there this is in the center of England. They're British and they can't stand on their own streets. That's the real story.